Hello, welcome to another Tech Radar Talks. I'm John McCann, this is Gareth Beavis. It's not really, it's the way around. <laughs> let's talk about Android M and Google I.O. Okay, let's do that. Yeah, we, uh, we were there, we were watching the stream. Um, what did you think? Did you think it was a, a good I.O., a big I5? <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Um, I quite enjoyed it. Uh, it did go on a little bit long. Um, but As they always do. As they always do, but they covered lots of bases. Obviously Android M was the, was the big one, but they also talked a little bit about Android Wear, Google Now, Photo App, VR, um, the home automation, all that sort yeah. of business with Brillo. Um, so yeah, interesting, but obviously we'll, we'll sort of focus down a bit more on, on M. That's what it's known for now. Internally, macadamia nut cookie, which is a bit of a rubbish yeah, one to ask us. So hopefully, M &Ms. come September, we might get M and M's or Marmite or apparently milkshake. Because uh, on one of the smart, on one of the Android Wear watches on stage, it did look like there was a milkshake icon doing a little dance. So Fair enough. there's a there's a little sneak peek there. So um, I mean, for me, Android M was really unimpressive. I I just. I just didn't care, I, you know, in terms of what I was seeing. It felt like we had Android 5.1 Lollipop. This was Android 5.2. This was there was so little there, you know. I mean, app permissions are cool. Slightly better battery management. We had with that Project Vault with the last one, and it was battery, battery life still been rubbish. I mean, what what do we really care about in this? Well, I, I'm hoping that the battery stuff this time around, nicknamed Doze at the moment, um, does actually make a difference. It's basically a, an even deeper standby mode, basically, and yeah. on standby. Google's saying that you get three to four times better battery life than compared to something running Lollipop. Is this like is stamina cool. mode with Sony? It is. A, mm, it seems yes, very similar, doesn't similar, it? Similar, similar, but not exactly the same. So we mean that other brands have already done this kind of thing and then it, Google's bringing it into the wider fold. Yeah, exactly. It's the same sort of thing that's doing with fingerprinting. We've seen, obviously, Apple's got this Touch ID, Samsung's got its own fingerprint stuff set up, and now Google's made a API basically to, to standardize it, so to make it really easy for developers and for manufacturers together to bring fingerprint scanning and for it to work across the whole ecosystem. It means developers can build fingerprint security into their applications, which has a number of useful benefits. I mean, I was quite, I don't know if I was quite dismayed to see Android Pay turn up. I mean, it's not sad you know, that Android's doing that because I think it's really great that you get the bigger effort behind these payment systems. But we've now got Apple Pay, we've got Samsung Pay, we've got Android Pay. Uh, there are other ones in there as well. And I think what's annoying is in the UK, we, we don't have any pays <laughs> yet, you know. It's all by the end of 2015, it will turn up, it will turn up. You'd assume if Apple Pay had taken off, they'd roll it out to the rest of the world ASAP. I think it's a financial thing. I think it's about making sure that you've got the contracts and the deals with the, the banks. I mean, as we know, it, it, it's the financial institutions <laughs> that hold these things up, not anything else. So, I mean, looking back at Android M itself, I mean, do you think this is going to be, how long is it going to take to get it? It's going to be months and months again, isn't it? I mean, Lollipop's still barely on a lot of phones. So. Well, uh, yes, I, the fragmentation of Android is an issue. The official consumer launch is Q3, so that's anything July to September. Assume September here, yeah. it won't be July, because they've said the second developer preview update will only come out at the end of July. Yep. So we're looking at September basically for an official launch. Yeah, I think so. It's basically going to be a while before we see this on yeah. your phone, so don't get excited about it just yet. So I think by, by January next year, we'll start to get a really good picture of what's happening. I think it just again shows that Google has fragmentation, mm. can't do anything about it. Let's move on. So yeah, Android M, basically, Better battery, faster charging, fewer bugs, more quality, a bit more polish. Yeah, so it's it's an update. It's not groundbreaking, but you know people will want to find out about it. They'll want to get on their phone. So here's to hoping it happens soon. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.